Hello, 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 and welcome to this day of the 12 days of anime. For this moment today, I decided to choose something from the fairy tale manga, and what I'm referring to, the moment in particular, is when Natsu turned, I want to say either semi or incomplete ENG, when he busted out of the chamber, that Demaria was, you know, having him locked in there with Lucy, when we saw that chapter of Demaria just knocked out there saying he's a monster and shit like that, that was absolutely insane, and I gotta pose the question, how strong is Natsu ENG at this particular point, if he was complete not what we saw in that particular portion because yeah he was strong but you saw that he still was able to hold back when he fought against Erza and even Gray was able to keep up with him how strong is the true and complete END based on the preview that we got of him busting out and you know defeating the Mario because if you think about it Demaria was very, very hacked. Her ability was absolutely insanely hacked. So for Natsu to be able to take her out, that's an achievement of, of itself. And again, he wasn't necessarily completely END. I think for him to be completely END, his look is going to change completely. And he won't be able to hold back against anybody, even Arizona Gray or something like that. So that's where I think the difference is from the complete one. Honestly, I think if Natsu was 100% END mode, I think he could even go up against Acnologia on his own. I think END Natsu completely transformed into it can take out Acnologia and can destroy Zeref because Natsu, when he was using the power left from Igneal that I, I believe it was what, like 5% of power or something like that, he was able to, you know, give Zeref a run for his money and then ultimately Zeref just got the edge slightly. If END came out completely against Zeref, I think he could even take out Zeref and I think he could take out Acnologia as well. I think END is going to be a savage beast and I cannot wait based on the moment that I chose for today, Natsu turned turning into END and going fucking savage and shit like that, I can only wait for the true and complete version of END Natsu. But, I'm kind of curious, what did you choose for today for the 12 days of anime? Was it something from Fairy Tale? Was it something totally different? And, how strong do you think Natsu END is if you read Fairy Tale or you watch Fairy Tale? Personally, I think he's going to be able to be top tier against Acnologia, Zeref, but... I don't think it's going to be obviously permanent. I don't think Natsu is going to die being an evil END monster. Any overall thoughts of all this? But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and stalk my Facebook to get more when the video ends. I'm Funnel World, and as always, people, have an awesome day. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next 12 days of anime. Have an awesome one.